Good evening, welcome to the middle school winter concert. I'm so glad that you guys came. Uh, if you remember last year, we got snowed out and pushed a little bit um, with the schedule because of our snow day, so so glad that we didn't have a snow day this week. This, what you see on stage right now is the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade bands, and this year we tried something new. We started with a marching band. As you all know, as the parents and family, as they practice at home, and the marching band uh, was a new thing that we did in the middle school. The idea of doing a marching band was to try to give the, the students an opportunity to play some music that's different than concert band music, and also it was a way for us to participate as a band in the Spirit Parade. So the students did a fantastic job this year working on it. Uh, the music that we played is pep band music that you might hear at a, at a football game or basketball game or something. So we learned three songs that we'll play for you. And here is our um, middle school marching band.
Okay, so for the next part of our concert, we will be listening to the sixth grade band play. Um, one comment about the marching band. Uh, for those of you who have played an instrument, you know that there are a lot of things that are, that are challenging. Um, they have to think about what their fingers are doing, they have to think about reading the music, they have to think about their embouchure, their mouth position. Um, and then adding a marching component on top of that is extra challenging because they have to walk while they're playing, they have to walk in step, they have to think about where they are in lines with each other. So this year was definitely um, a really great year in everything that we did, but it left uh, a lot of room that we can uh, do some really cool stuff in the future with it. One thing about McDonough is that we are a school that has so many different uh, subjects that we teach. So students are really involved in the arts and they're really involved in athletics and they work really hard in their classes. And because of they're involved in so many different things, um, we will probably never have a field band. Uh, some of the teachers have asked, oh cool, we're going to have that. Probably not. <laughs> there are too many students who are playing in, on the teams to be able to do that. But it's really fun to have them play in a parade band and to be able to participate in a really important integral school activity with the Spirit Parade. Our sixth graders are going to start off with a piece called The Simple Gifts of Christmas.
So for the sixth graders this year, uh, most of them had me last year in fifth grade, and in fifth grade, man, we start out the year by doing a lot of learning how to play by ear, and then we transition into note reading, which, because of some of the snow days and, and me learning the schedule, that was delayed a little bit, so we only did note reading at the end of the year. So this group has worked really hard this year to work on their note reading skills and to work on learning how to read the rhythms as well. So that last piece that we just played, there were two sections in it. In the first section, everything was grouped in four. In the second section, everything was grouped in three, which sounds rather simple, but when you go to play it and you're reading rhythms for the first time, it's, it takes an adjustment to get used to it. So I'm really proud of them. They've worked so hard and they did really, really well. Most of the students uh, have been have come into this with a variety of attitudes about what it is that they want to get out of band. And that's pretty common. Um, some of them just want to play all the time. Some of them are like, well, I had to pick an art class, so I picked this one. And, uh, and even with that, what they have accomplished so far this year is learning how to play as a group. Um, one of the things that we've worked on a lot recently in band is listening. And how can you play and listen at the same time? Because when you're playing a solo and you're playing all by yourself, then your part is the only part, and that's the most important, and that's all that you need to pay attention to. But when you play in a group like this, you have so many different sections that it's important to listen, and it's important to make sure that you know what's happening with the other group, so that if you get lost, you can get back on, so that it sounds uh, cohesive as, as a whole. So I'm really proud of them for all that. So our last piece that we're going to play for you is not traditionally a holiday piece, um, but it is combined with a holiday piece. So this is Chopsticks for Christmas. concert for you tonight is two of our fifth graders. Most of the fifth graders here at McDonough are first year instrumentalists, but this year two of the students that came in had already been playing for a year. 
So they've been just hanging out in the band, helping out. I already know how to play all the stuff that you're teaching me, Mr. Irvine. And, uh, and they've been adding a lot, and the students will sort of look to them like, oh, how do you do that? Or they'll come in playing cool songs, and the kids are like, wait, I want to play that too. So it's been really fun having these two students in the class. I wanted to give them something challenging to keep their learning going, and so I asked them to play in the winter concert. And so here is Robbie and Will playing an arrangement of Up on the House Tower. I'm really proud of them because not only did they play duet in front of all of you, they didn't have the benefit of having other people playing with them, but there are also solo sections in there, which was intentional, and they did a really nice job, so way to go, guys. Um, the next group that is playing is the 7th and 8th grade bands, and I wanted to combine these groups because when you get to this point in middle school, the music that you're playing tends to be all around the same uh, advanced level. And so they're working on a lot of the same stuff. They're working on adding some of the nuance to their expression, and they're working on expanding their range with the notes that they're playing, or working on learning more complicated rhythms. And by the time you get to seventh and eighth grade in middle school, um, as you do in any other subject, you start to get, uh, some students are getting it really well, and some students are struggling with different areas. And so by putting them together, um, they all get to work on the same stuff. And then their instrumentation helps fill it out, because there's so many options once you get to seventh and eighth grade with the hearts that this really helps them. Um, we also have a guest middle schooler. He's the oldest middle schooler I think McDonough has ever had. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. New, I think you'll make it to upper school next year. Exactly. So, uh, Mr. New is helping fill out our trumpet section. We have so many saxophones and woodwinds that uh, our trumpets needed a few more bodies. So, our first piece for you is one that I can't remember. Tangle Bells.
next piece that we're playing for you is Carol the Kings. And as many of these songs are, they're sort of uh, mashups of two new songs that we know. The seventh and eighth graders have worked really hard this year. The marching music, I really counted on them to know and to learn the music. Some of it was above the heads of the sixth graders. Um, but these guys, it was right at their level, and they worked really hard as they learned all that marching music. And then on top of that, um, the Spirit Parade was in the beginning of November, so we've only had about a month to work out the rest of this music. And as many of you know, being the parents, and I've been emailing with you, um, I'm doing a new way of doing the assignments this year instead of having them take videos in class. I'm having them do these videos at home and then turn them in. And it's really fantastic. Uh, it's a great way, it's a great tool to have the technology to be able to do these videos. Um, it lets you hear what they're working on. It also has its quirks. Technology doesn't always work. So I apologize for the emails that I sent you. Hey, where is this? And then you're like, oh, okay, you sent it in and you told us that. Um, so I'm still working that out. Um, but these uh, students have really stepped up to the plate and they have worked hard on their assignments. Um, I told them because our concert is so early this year in December that we're going to work really hard in November uh, with homework assignments and then in December we'll be working really hard in class and not have to do all that work at home. And they were like, okay, and they just did it. And so I'm really impressed with how much they've accomplished in such a short period of time. So here's our next piece, Carol and Kings. Time. 
all these different parts of your brain, and so it's really, really a fantastic thing for our, the students to do because they're growing and they're learning, and um, so thank you for supporting me with that. Thank you to the administration, to Mrs. Bowders and Mr. Ford, and to uh, Mr. Britton for all of their support of the music program. Without them, this would not work out as smoothly as it does. Um, and thank you to all of the other teachers here. It's such a privilege to work here and work with all the other teachers and to Mr. New. He's been so helpful with all of the marching and with all of the music and everything. Um, some of you know he has a ton of experience with uh, the marching stuff, so he was a great resource. So thank you to all of you. Um, and uh, thank you to the students for all of your hard work. I'm really, really grateful. It's such a wonderful job to have teaching here at McDonough. And here is our last piece of the evening, I think, you know, under 40 minutes, so. <laughs> <laughs> spelled backwards. It's the week before Christmas, and today was my first day on the job. Today's temperature reached 25 degrees below zero, and this heat rave has really put Santa in a bad mood. Today was my second day on the job. We made wooden soldiers, but instead of marching in step, the soldiers broke ranks, threw muskets, and began to fight one another. <laughs> Today was my third day on the job working for Mr. C, and I got the never-ending job of decorating the castle. I never want to see another bow of holly as long as I live. <laughs> It's day four, and the new reindeer harness has arrived defective. Instead of having sleigh bells, they came with cow bells. <laughs> and the work is finally done. In spite of the troubles, I'm lucky to be a Christmas elf. Happy Christmas to all, and good all a good night. <laughs> Thank you.